We've got uh, James Creedon, as ever, here Hi, with Matt. our segment. Great to see you, Likewise. sir. Uh, you're starting with a story about the mayor of Paris, Juan Anne Hidalgo. Uh, this is a story which comes back to haunt on a regular basis, uh, which may not quite be as, as factual as some of her critics might want it to be. Maybe it's all true. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Might be. It. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Go it on. is unlikely, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in any case, we, we, there is a kind of a general <laughs> underlying principle to things here. Now, this is true. Uh, she's reducing the speed limit in the city. For car, like people, If you drive a car and if you live in Paris, you probably don't like Anne Hidalgo very much because yeah. she's launched a war against the car. And so now um, driving around the city, you have to do it at 30 kilometres an hour. You, I mean, you may as well crawl, you could argue. Um, uh, and she would like to do the same on motorways and bring it down to 110 kilometres an hour. So this is uh, all with a view to, I suppose, making roads safer. There is obviously a, a very uh, important reason behind all of that. Uh, but she's also planning to run for the presidency. And uh, this is sort of, she's known for this. And it, it's she's, she's, I suppose, using it as a, a means of pushing her campaign uh, forward. In any case, related to that, there is a story that has been circulating. It got thousands of shares on one Facebook page alone. And it, this is it here, right? And it, it's an article uh, that talks about how she was stripped of her driving licence some time back for speeding on the ring road around Paris. And she, not alone was she speeding, she told the police that pulled her over that, uh, you know, at this hour of the evening, there's no need, there's no danger, so you don't have to look at the, at the speedometer. And so uh, in the end, anyway, she was stripped of her driving licence, as you might suspect. It's not actually, well, look, we'll, we'll leave the, the, the facts for a moment, but I'll Let show that you. hang there. <laughs> Let that hang in the air. Okay. Suspense, right? We'll keep uh, it there hanging. <laughs> who knows? Anyway, it was, it was going all over Facebook and uh, people were even saying, oh, uh, this is this is really the biting the the bite. What would you say? This is bite the cherry on top, or this is a this is just, puts the cherry on top of the this, cake. The this cherry is going on cake, too yeah? far. Anne Hidalgo has been takes the her, biscuit. It take, that's the one I was looking for. That she she was stripped of her driving license for speeding, and now she's looking to bring down the, the speed limit around uh, the capital. I mean, people were indignant, Mark. They were absolutely furious, and people, of course, spoke out via social media, as everybody does, because everyone's brave on social media without really checking the facts. Yeah. <laughs> No. And what's interesting about this one uh, is Anne Hidalgo herself, this has been coming back since 2015, right? It was first published in 2015. And Anne Hidalgo on Twitter said, oh, here we go again. This was back in 2018, by the way, which she's had to kind of try to clear her name about this a number of times. She said, delighted to see that an April Fool's joke and Poisson d'Avril going back to 2015 is being published by Le Parisien uh, now in 2018. So Le Parisien, reputable newspaper here in Paris. Uh, this was actually what started the whole thing. Now, it, it was published on uh, the eve of, uh, on the eve of um, the 1st of April, uh, but, uh, and, and it, it looks quite like the typeface for Le Parisien, but in fact, as a number of fact-checking uh, outfits uh, determined, including Liberation's uh, Czech News, it wasn't actually a Poisson d'Avril at all. It was uh, just simply a satirical uh, article published on a satirical Facebook page that started uh, the whole thing off. So even the fact checkers got that one wrong. It wasn't an April Fool's joke. Interesting that the fact checkers even get it wrong. But That's it's, right. But I think your description of it as satire is very generous. It just seems puerile to me, but, you know, that's well, th my own that's actually case. That's actually a good point, because uh, it, it, if, if satire is so, um, so straight as to be completely believable, and there's no bit of a hint, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge involved, then of course people are going to believe it. And if you have typeface that is very similar to uh, a reputable newspaper, you're actually just hoodwinking people, really. I think that's what they, I mean, who am I to say, but it strikes me that that's what they were think, that was, that's what they were seeking to do, hoodwink people. And that's right. And, and it, but the thing is, if you found that on the, the, the Facebook page in question, which is called Info Radar Ile de France, you would know it's satire. Info radar, so that's like Info speed radar. check. That's it. <laughs> speed check page. Whatever, but you know? if it's lifted off that, then you know. Uh, and and if, if there's no reference to the, the origin, then obviously. So for the record, Anna Dalgo never lost her license. No, she did she not. She has reduced the speed limit around Paris, which doesn't make it popular with certain drivers. Right. But those who are environmentally friendly would say it's a good idea. Absolutely. And she's going to run for president. It's a debate. It's a debate. She's going to run for president. It, that's right. With, with her license intact. With her license intact. She'll probably always have a driver. But she'll get someone to drive the bus for her, I'm sure. What's next, James. All right. Well, there is there are other examples of this, and I just said I'll quickly show you. Uh, this is our own observers ah, team here. Uh, Shiapa, yeah, Marlon Shiapa. The uh, the gov former government spokeswoman. This is Sputnik, Russian uh, news media, and they are talking about how she said to contest or question the words of the president is a step in the direction of terrorism, which would be a pretty extreme thing to say. Yeah. 
that to question the president is terrorism. Uh, well, so unsurprisingly, she didn't say it. It was Le Journal de l'Elysée here, which is a, a satirical par parody. It's a parody account on Facebook, <laughs> also on Twitter. If you if you look at their logo up there, Mark, there's a, a detail that should give this away because France's state is famously secular, mm. laicite, and that's a that's a cross there, which uh, should indicate that it's it, not even the, the famous Croix Lorraine of De Gaulle, is it? It's actually a sort of a yeah, it's it's a, a, more and, straightforward. But the thing is, it's not a million miles away from the original. In no. any case, this is how this is how mistakes happen. It's interesting to note that some deputies from the LROM ruling party, when there was fake news that happened, that circulated a number of times, originating on this account, they said shut it down. The account needs to be shut down. France 24's observers at the time spoke to the man behind this account. He pleaded freedom of expression, freedom to caricature. Authorities are not there to ban humour. They don't like slipping. Uh, they, they, they're not there to ban humour that they don't like. Uh, this is a slippery slope towards authoritarianism and totalitarianism. Freedom to caricature. I mean, where's the actual caricaturing in this one? It just seems like a lie, you know. That's it. I mean, it, it, <laughs> there is a line where it is exactly, it's tough oh. to know, I suppose, between freedom of expression and fighting uh, fake news. James, I'm so pleased you're here to Thank you, Mark. take the... Uh, the lies out of the, uh, the, the things that are published. I'll probably get it wrong. Truth or fake, point. James Creedon always uh, striking out the truth. Truth as always from 